What's up everybody, this is Omega Primus, and before I unbox this Alien Colonial Marines Collector's Edition, I just want to say, yes, I did see all the negative reviews on this game. Yes, I do know about all the disappointing consumers, and I do know that this game has been in development for a very long time, and that Gearbox outsourced this game to other developers. So if you're sitting there wondering, why did I still buy this game, and why do I still want to play it? It's because sometimes I don't mind playing a game that's not a AAA title, or should have been a AAA title. Uh, I know what it's like with these video game industries most of the times. These developers like to capitalize on a popular franchise and hype the shit out of it, release kick-ass trailers in hopes to push sales, and the end result turns out to be a piece of shit. But sometimes, a crappy game is not all that bad. Now, don't get me wrong, I completely understand the major disappointment with all the consumers and the hardcore Alien fans, because in this day and age, in this generation, we all expect to play good games with great graphics, great storyline, and great gameplay. So what it comes down to is I still want to play this game no matter what, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I think it's mostly due to my odd taste for certain unpolished games sometimes, because sometimes I don't mind that stuff, so I'm able to deal with it a little bit better than most other people. So, I'm just being straight up honest with you guys. I understand. I do know what the deal is with this game, but I still want to play it. And that's about it. <laughs> so, moving on with this unboxing video. If you didn't already tell, it comes with it. It comes with this awesome figurine diorama of a power loader with a colonial marine inside battling a xenomorph. Looks pretty cool. And on the back, you get a quick glimpse of the rest of the stuff that comes with it. There we go. Ah, too much. There we go. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to show off the rest of that stuff because I, I think it's kind of boring to show you that guys that stuff because it's just mostly paper and badges. So I'm just going to show off the power loader and the game. And uh, I guess you get Ripley's flamethrower and phased plasma rifle. And some other stuff. Customization, some movie character skins or movie characters for the multiplayer. Hicks, Pwn, Hudson, and Drake. Insert alien reference here. Game over, man. Game over. Well, I guess it's game over for Gearbox because uh, I guess they dropped the ball on this. Or the other developers that they outsourced this to. Uh, whatever. And I do plan on doing a complete playthrough of this on my channel. Just to uh, pretty much fill out my channel with more videos. Let's see, I cut that tape. This thing is still not coming off. Is there another tape on the bottom? Yes, there is. All right, so I'll take care of that. Is that cut now? No? Oh, my blade must not be sharp enough. And as you can see, it's surrounded by my Alien Quadrilogy DVD box set here of all nine discs. If you're wondering what the nine discs or if you're wondering why it comes with nine discs, it's because um, each movie comes with the original theatrical cut and the second disc is the director's cut. And I think the ninth disc is just like, uh, I guess like a, a little uh, backtrack of all the movies and the making of, it, of everything and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so nice little slip cover here with a bunch of xenomorphs. All right. Now this just folds out here. Grr, come on. Have to use some alien blood to get this open. Open. Rawr. All right. Cool. So here's what it looks like from a top view. And let's see here. 
guessing that's the game on the side. I well, oh, of course, this piece of plastic was blocking all of it. Okay, so here is the game: Alien Colonial Marines, rated mature from Gearbox, uh, supposedly, <laughs> uh, and Sega. Sega. Fight the fear. And you guys can read the rest of that if you want. So, I believe the campaign mode does have co-op where you could play with three other players, if I'm not mistaken. And competitive multiplayer mode, as always. Uh, let's see here. Players 1 to 2, network players. Two. Oh, so, wait, 1 to 2. Alright, so I'm guessing you can only play with one other person in co-op? One or two? At the most? I'm not sure. I'll find out eventually. Alright, so let's take out the power loader. And oh, well, here's the... Hey, what's that thing? Something just slid out there. Oh, well, these are the patches. The United States Colonial Marines military patches for application on all U.S. or, yeah, USCM battle dress utilities. So these, I'm guessing you could iron on any part of your clothing. And you only get two of these. Now, uh, since this is an Aliens game, I thought it'd be cool if they would have in included like a, a Wayland symbol or a Wayland yutani badge, you know? But, you know, uh, this is still alright for what they give you. And here's the dozier thing, which, uh, well, you know what? Maybe I will show off the rest of this stuff. Um, yeah, I'll do. I'll show off the rest of the stuff after I unbox the game and uh, show off the power loader here. Yeah, but there's some more stuff in here. What the hell is all this? Sonic electronic ball breaker and the phase plasma rifle to confront hordes of enemies in competitive multiplayer. The United States Colonial Marines Academy firing range level to hone your skills before going into battle. Okay, so is this a code or what? Yeah, it's a code. Okay. <laughs> so I got a code for weapons, I'm guessing, and there's another thing in here. Oh, okay. This is for the movie characters that you could play with in multiplayer. Oh, and Ripley's Flamethrower, it says right there. Customization for your Marines and competitive multiplayer. Yep. So that's pretty cool. DLC content, and all right. I thought this thing was going to be a pain to get out, but I guess not. And here is the power loader with the xenomorph. All right, let me take off the rest of the stuff here. Ah, uh, the video is going on for longer than I originally thought it would. <laughs> planning on only doing maybe a five or six minute videos, but uh, yeah, here's the figurine diorama. It's just what I expected it to look like. Well, sort of. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit larger than this. I mean, but this is still awesome. If you're, well, you know, a hardcore Aliens fan. And Xenomorph does look a bit fragile, so I would recommend if you're going to put this on display, just keep it out of harm's way at least. <laughs> so nothing could fall on it or can't fall off anything. There's the wires, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get in a closer look at the detail. Yeah, so this is pretty badass. Um, I am satisfied with the purchase. And, well, uh, <laughs> I am a collector, so, you know, it's a nice addition to the rest of the stuff I have in my room. So, that is pretty cool. And you can put the other Xenomorph next to it, who's way bigger. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to unbox this now. And after I box this, I will show off the rest of the stuff in the dozier.
There we go. Ouch. Almost stabbed myself. All right. Unboxing. There is the game disc. And once again, I will be doing a complete playthrough of this. Hopefully I can get the videos uploaded before Tuesday because that's when I'm going to pick up Metal Gear Rising. Um, I highly doubt it though because I'm going to probably upload maybe 15 to 20 minute long videos. And uh, one of these are the instruction manual, or two of these actually. No, what's this thing? This is something. I don't know what this is. Alright, this is the instruction manual. Yeah, it's not like a real book or anything. It just folds out like most games these days. And this is... Okay, yeah. So two instruction manuals. One is in English and one is in another language. Great. <laughs> Alright, so... That's the game. That's the kick-ass power loader thing. And, uh... The badges. Alright, time to show off this thing. Alright. All this stuff comes flowing out of there. Alright, I'm just gonna spread out everything here real quick. Alright, inside the envelope you get a recon photograph of planet LV-426. It says Hadley's Hope Perimeter. And you get a cool image of some alien eggs. That's pretty neat. You also get this uh, propaganda piece. It says, be the face of your country, U.S. Colonial Marines. That's nothing really special, I guess. And you get this certificate of... Uh, Graduating of with honors from the Colonial Marines Training Academy. <laughs> so I guess you could do a funny thing with this and frame it up in your room, I guess. So whenever people come over and you can say, hey, I graduated from the school of kicking ass and taking names. And you get this mission briefing document. It's supposed to be classified. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Alright, so a nice little memorabilia from the game or movie. And this thing looks like sort of a blueprint schematics of the USS Sephora. And the paper is see-through. You can see my hand on the other side there. So that's pretty neat. There's the Wayland yutani symbol. Okay, so that pretty much covers all the stuff that comes inside the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector Edition. You get this awesome looking figurine diorama piece of a Colonial Marine inside a power loader fighting off a Xenomorph. You get these codes for additional weapons and movie characters to play with in multiplayer. Now, I don't know if these codes come with every Collector's Edition or just mine since I pre-ordered mine from Amazon, but these were inside the Collector Edition box. You get the game, you get these patches to put on your clothes, and this envelope filled with mission briefings, propaganda, and photographs, which is not too important, I guess, but if you don't mind owning video game memorabilia, I guess it's not a big deal. And it's very unfortunate that this game turned out the way it did, but um, for me personally, I think I might get some enjoyment out of it. <laughs> so I'm Omega Primus. Thank you for watching my unboxing video of Aliens Colonial Marines, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be next week when I unbox Metal Gear Rising. Alright, peace.
All right, so right now I'm just correcting what I said earlier about my nine disc quadrilogy set. Um, actually, the theatrical cut and director's cut both are included on the first disc, and on the second disc is extra features and deleted scenes and all that stuff. So, just correcting what I said earlier about how the first one is the theatrical cut and the second one is the director's cut. Uh, that was wrong. Both of them are on the first disc, and the second disc is just extra stuff. And the ninth disc is um, more extra features. Alright, peace.